When I was a kid, I used to zip up jackets over my feet so that I could have a tail and be a merman. I made up stories about monsters that I created and then I believed them. I used to tell the grown folks stories about my former life as a pilgrim or how it was living in my mother's stomach. I had vivid nightmares and dreams. Also, I was certain Jesus' cross was right down the road from our house. You see, we lived in a town called Calvary, Georgia. And I was my own friend, my own entertainment, nothing short of a storyteller. And to this day, my figurines and stuffed animals stay booked. (laughs) My imagination is too important to leave them out. I stay telling stories. Welcome to the fellowship. I actually started out as a voice major at the unsinkable Albany State University in Georgia, not New York. I loved it. I was like, yes, singing, but I knew there was more. I got the opportunity to audition to be a part of the ASU Theater Ensemble. And little did I know that would be one of the best moves of my life. I met my my theater mom, Dr. Wendy R. Coleman. I can remember almost second to second stepping into the theater. It was just her, nobody else in the theater. And I said the lines and she looked at me and She just said, where have you been? Kind of this reassuring, um, this reassuring like, this is where you're supposed to be. Ever since then, I was like, yeah, yeah, this feels like home. Yep, it feels like home, so. (laughs) I love telling stories. I love being a part of the storytelling culture. Words are spirit. You know, one day we'll be gone and all the words that were ever spoken will be clinging to the wind. Y'all hear y'all talking about it all the time. Yeah, he gonna be dead or in jail. Oh, you stuck? Yeah, so what you preaching now, Mr. Preacher, man? Man, y'all swear y'all just gonna come up in here and change somebody's life. Man, you don't know my life. This ain't no movie. I think it's important to share stories, to tell stories. It's how people move on. It's how we grow. It's how we go on. It's how we've moved on from century to century, year to year. I'm honored to be a part of that. I tell stories. There's nothing like telling a story from the stage. There is nothing like looking out into the audience and seeing someone identify with the words that you're saying, with the story that you're telling. I don't want to ever take that opportunity for granted. I don't ever want to take it lightly that um, lives are changed (laughs) so easily. Worlds are shifted. Words literally change the trajectory of the human race. So.